Up for sale, 1968 Pontiac Firebird convertible. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 68 Firebird convertible. I'll wait for the truck to go by here. Uh, 400 number matching, automatic, power steering, power front disc brakes. Finished in autumn bronze, black deluxe interior, bucket seats and console, black vinyl top. PHS documented as well. And as always, you know, go around and point at anything I do see, fire it up and then drive it. Uh, so of course we'll start here in the front. Chrome on the car, front wise. So let's just start with the front. Nice condition. You see some light, you know, wear on it like that. Some marking, stuff like that, you know, throughout, but no damage on it. Um, fitment all the way around the car is super nice. I mean, look how nice this hood lines up to the fender all the way back. Same thing, doors and quarters, trunk lid, all that. On this side of the hood, it just rises up just, just a little bit going back, but the alignment to the fender is super nice. And I was having trouble figuring out why I don't want to tear into it and, you know, maybe hit something I shouldn't hit, damage something, I don't, I don't know. Um, but it doesn't look that bad. I mean, you saw it in the video, in the picture. Um, 400 hood on there, hood tack. And again, it received paint not too long ago and they did a really beautiful job and there's not too many marks on it. Um, and you can see here how the paint looks as I try to get up on it a little bit better. Did a really nice job on it. And again, look how nice this lines up all the way there as well. Uh, and even here, I might as well do the fender real quick for you. Rally 2's on there. Nice finish here. Finish all the way down, super nice. Uh, I had a two-door coupe that was autumn bronze, and that was just a beautiful color. Uh, but that was painted sometime in the 90s. Give me a second, I need a second hand for this. Slip my phone in. Four hundred YT code, uh, which appears on the documents. Original four hundred to the car. Chrome air cleaner, chrome valve covers. Uh, trim tag is in place there. Power steering. The power front disc brake and the booster. That's a recent conversion. Did a nice job. Um, it has new lower control arms. I have the original ones. If you want them, you get them. Just let me know. Uh, if not don't really know what I'll do with them. It has headers on there. I have the original exhaust manifolds. But those I'll probably end up just passing along, of course. Um, firewall is nice. I think I mentioned that already. Um, smooth running, nice performance. Nice underhood as well. And I'm just trying to think if anything does come to mind while I'm here. Uh, trim tag is in place. It was originally a, I don't remember the name, but it was green. I'm a big fan of how they went with the autumn bronze uh, and the quality of the paint as well. And the finish and door jam, stuff like that. You'll see that as I go around. The tires are recent. The only, oh, and, and they got that lower body trim down there, which looks super nice. And the only sign of a, a, any kind of a lack of quality of the paint that I see is just a little bit of like a metallic pooling right there. You don't really notice it. You see it because I'm a foot away from the car. Um, but nothing like that anywhere else. Tinted glass, which is probably from the factory. And they might have used the uh, factory glass during the restoration. So you see a little bit of streaking on it. By the way, again, competing with another truck. It's power windows, which is positive as well. Uh, and you see how nice the fitment is all the way up on this door here. Let me just move my camera. That's super, super nice as well. Uh, no rust on the car, no bubbles on the body, always positive. Uh, the black vinyl top is nice. There's a repair here on it, which is good. I mean, you don't, you know, it, it, it serves its purpose, but the top itself. Let me just go around that real quick since I'm talking about it. Everything else looks very nice. Fitment to the front is the way you do want it to be. Um... Just making a circle here now. Again, I mentioned the door fitment, all that. I mentioned the streaks on the glass, so we're good. Just wanna make sure I'm checking everything off positively. Again, switches for the power windows. 
nice finish in here as well going up nice door panel again with the power window switches as well well let me show you a little bit of the finish in here down into the corner and through and in there you go uh, all the interior is new always positive you know deluxe interior factory console the only thing that looks out of place would be the steering wheel but it's not bad i'm happy they put you know something a little different in that's still kind of tasteful uh tilt steering column as well look at the door corner down there nice there you go dash super super nice paint on the dash the wood grain your gauges dash pad itself no cracks in it roll the back seat forward here nice there are two speakers that I tucked down here below the seat facing back because I didn't want them on the seat I figure more tasteful just seeing the seat itself again I showed you there a little up and over oh I gotta refocus my camera bear with me there we go and you'll see here as I get on this angle small little indent right there in the quarter panel no bubbles down there might as well show you chrome in the back nicer than the front bumper good to see a little chip right there and then there's a little a little something on that and I noticed there's another one just right there on that side nice fitment on the trunk and then I know two little indents right there you kind of see it but the rest of the deck is super nice okay space saver spare jack top boot cocktail shakers uh, some just miscellaneous paperwork that I have for the car these are the PHS I'll show you these these are all receipts and invoices for the car don't tell me that was the PHS oh I bought it twice look at that well you win some you lose some <laughs> so basically PHS Pontiac Michigan Jim Costley Pontiac uh, 400, of course, automatic, safety track rear, push button radio, rally twos, console, dual exhaust, power top, which it's manual now, uh, floor mats in the front, spare tire, red, white oval, those red lines from the factory, then. uh, 400 YT code, I took a picture of that, that's on the block, 3.08 gear from the factory, Ver Verdoro green with black, uh, was and it was a deluxe interior car to begin with so now you got two sets of phs documents and i don't tell my dad i pissed away a hundred dollars so ta -da. i'll show you the trunk pan trunk pan is super super nice what you see there lay those there take this out show you that very nice very nice to take this in. bubbles you see two little marks right in front of the bumper there <sighs> how nice the fitment is down there and over there
We'll be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video if you want to check it out. Let us know. 68 Pontiac Firebird convertible. Finished in autumn bronze with black deluxe interior. 400 number matching. Power steering, power brakes with front disc, power windows, tilt. Two sets of PHS documents. <laughs> looking here now to see if I missed anything. Doesn't seem that I have. So we are getting to the point of the video where we're going to fire it up now and then drive it. 